This HAN Network video is brought to you by Dave's RV Center. On the campus of Darien High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Fall Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito sitting alongside the Blue Wave football captains for the upcoming season. They are Nick Green, Mitchell Pryor, Brian Minicus, and Mike Neary. Boys, first of all, let me start off by saying congratulations. Another great season again last year. Perfect record, number one in the state. It's been quite a run for you boys. Nick, let me ask you this. How does this team stay hungry now as you head into your senior season? Uh, we got a lot of returning players that have been at the situation before. Um, a lot of returning uh, skills. Uh, we got a couple new faces, uh, but we've been playing all summer long and we've been working out all summer, so it's kind of easy to stay hungry if you want to win. Well, Mitchell, let's talk about that summer. What does the Blue Wave do in the offseason to continue their training, stay in sync, and make sure they're ready when preseason rolls around? I mean, the one thing we do that really sets us apart is that we never stop. We have a rule in our team that if you don't have 21 lifting days, you can't even play in our first scrimmage. And if you have 30, that's when you earn real honors. You're in the Ironman Award. And everyone on our team, they all put in effort. If you're going to play in this team, you have to be lifting. You have to be going to our captains, like throwing practices. You have to be going to all the camps we're doing. Like, if you want to get better, you know you have to do all these things in the summer. And we emphasize how important the summer is to us. So we leave nothing behind. And I think that's really what sets us apart. Brian, you guys are back into pads now. You're underway in preseason. You just had your first practice with Cheshire. Talk a little bit about the emotions of being back on the field alongside your teammates finally, and then what preseason has been like so far this year. Well, yeah, you know, it's awesome getting the pads back on with the boys. Uh, you know, that practice with Cheshire went well. Uh, you know, for, throughout the whole preseason, you know, our mindset's been on Ridgefield. So that kind of keeps us hungry. You know, we, we got a shot at them uh, in the championship. I know they're hungry for us. We're hungry for them. So that's what makes preseason that much better. Michael, you lead a group up front that's got to replace a couple of big names we've come to know the past couple of years. You guys didn't miss a beat winning the Connecticut Offensive Lineman Challenge again. What can we expect from the big man on the Blue Wave roster this year? Uh, you can expect a a very good offensive line and a very good defensive line. We have some new names, uh, some new names that people might not know, but some names that people may come to know in the coming uh, games. And I, I think that we're poised to be very good. And you know, Brian mentioned your guys' eyes have been on Ridgefield this whole time. What do you want the team to get out of the next 10 days to make sure that you're ready when you guys square off at Tiger Hollow on September 9th? Well. I think that we really want to just get ready with a lot of game reps and a lot of intense practices to really make sure that we're ready for a real game scenario. Brian, now you guys are staring down what will be a game against the Ridgefield. It's a rematch of that state championship game from last year. What kind of emotions are going to carry over from that game, do you think, when you guys open up on that Friday night? Oh, God, the emotions are going to be running high. Uh, you know that when we beat them in the uh, championship, we know there's going to be a chip on their shoulder. Uh, you know, questions has been arising throughout the whole summer. Will this team be good? Will the next Darian team be good? So we really got to answer that question and, uh, you know, stick it to them. Mitchell, if this Darian team is going to continue to be good and you guys are going to continue to have the success you've had, what do you have to do on and off the field this year? I mean, directly off the field, we have to do what the captains before us have taught us to do and make us a family. Uh, Darien football has always been a family. We've always been helping one another. Never been played any favorites. We've never kicked anyone out. We've never been exclusive. It's always been encompassing everyone. So you never know who's going to step up. So off the field is making it a family, making everyone feel comfortable and want to be part of the team. If you don't want to be here, you're not playing well. You're not practicing hard. And on the field, we can't get tired. We can't get soft. We can't get lackadaisical. We have to go on 100% all the time, and we can't let up. People, we have a target on our back, and everyone on our team has been hammering in the heads. They know that. And we got to keep fighting because everyone's going to give us their best shot. Every single team's going to come out here saying we're the team they want to beat. They take us down. That's their Super Bowl right there. And we got to come to every game knowing that we get come to every game ready to stop that. Nick, I got a feeling I know the answer to this question here, but if you guys are going to set goals for the season, what is this group hoping to accomplish in 2017? Uh, well, obviously our first goal is to come out against Richfield and obviously win the game, take care of that. But the ultimate goal is to stay undefeated and – win the Turkey Bowl and get another state championship for us and Coach T. That's all we care about. Well, you mentioned the Turkey Bowl there. I got to go here, guys. Is that the game on the calendar that really jumps out of you and you look forward to this year? Uh, you know, it's always always a big game, but we go game by game. So right now, Ridgefield is all we have our minds on. So, you know, when we get there, it will definitely be top of our minds. 
Well, guys, we're really excited to see what the Blue Wave bring to the table this year. It's your season, and we're looking forward to how you take over at the helm now for the Wave. Great job today, guys. We're looking forward to the rest of the season, and good luck to you and the boys. Thank you so much. Alongside the Blue Wave football captains, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Fall Sports Tour. Stay tuned as we roll along through the rest of the conference.